Extreme poverty means not having enough food to feed your family. Walking long distances barefoot to collect safe water to drink. Hospitals overflowing with patients suffering from diseases that should be preventable. Rich nations have seen fit to look away from extreme poverty. But do you know that we can wipe it off our planet in just 20 years? Well, the world uh, started at, at the beginning of our new millennium to say, let's do something better than what we had done before, and let's stop ignoring crises like famines, diseases like malaria or AIDS, uh, and extreme poverty. And uh, 150 world leaders got together and set the Millennium Development Goals in September 2000. And Millennium Promise is devoted to uh, really fulfilling those goals. It's as simple as that. The world set, it's time to end this incredible amount of hunger and suffering because we know how to do it. The passion and money is not enough. You know, you have to understand the ground, the, 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 the NGOs, the bureaucracy of every country. Talk to the heads of the state and uh, really do your homework. And, and we made our first mistake. We sent over a million dollars worth of food from We the World uh, to Ethiopia, turned it over to the government. They were in conflict with Eritrea. And it's, they said if they want it, let them come get it. It stayed on the desert for four days and spoiled. I said, OK. And by, by not all of us, I mean, I just not first met Jeffrey, uh, said, let's get busy and go to school and figure out how to do this right. And I think all of us have learned so much since then. It's just incredible. I mean, I, mean, I feel very happy to, to know that uh, uh, now I think we know what to do now. This is a um, bed net, but it's also special because it's treated with the insecticide. Mm -hmm. Malaria is responsible for a very big proportion of, of the deaths uh, in young children. These nets do triple purpose. First, they just are protection. Second, they repel the mosquito, keep it away from the net. And third, they kill the mosquito if the mosquito sits on the net and it never infects the next. When a whole village uses these bed nets, it's been shown time and again the malaria drops tremendously. Oh, we've seen Disgusting. so many children dying for this most ludicrous, That's ludicrous true. reason that makes absolutely no sense. These are only $7, and they last for five years. When you see the solution for it, and it's just a, a net, it's ridiculous how simple it is. Well, last year was, look, was one of the, the, the great, exciting opportunities that, that we had. You know, we have the number one show on television watched by an average of 30 million people every week. And we came up with an idea, actually not until probably the beginning of February, of maybe we could take advantage of this and create a platform to both raise money, but also just as importantly to raise awareness. To, you know, these are, you know, when you get Simon Cowell or Paula, these are people that, and the contestants have, have tremendous visibility and tremendous authority with the public. And so we pretty quickly put a show together and decided to do a show Idol gives back. We made a decision we would do half of it for charities in Africa, for causes in Africa, and half of it for causes here in the U.S. And over the course of about a month, we went over, we sent all of the key people over. Uh, we, did, we did a trip where they went and visited Africa. They went and visited some malaria clinics and some other things there and uh, <clears throat> put together, I think, some wonderful short film pieces, which generated a lot of exposure. And I think probably overnight, increase the awareness of malaria in this country exponentially. There's so much that can be done, but I feel like um, we're just not aware of what's really going on. And for me, the, the statistics were so shocking. Um, even reading in National Geographic and getting here, learning from Malaria No More, from the President's Malaria Initiative, just learning so many different statistics about the disease and how many children die from it that really hit home for me. And so it made me want to dive in and help. And I know that if people knew more about it, it would make them want to dive in and help too. 10,000 years bright shining as the sun. We've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun.
So it's very simple, guys. Go to malarianomore.org and find out what's going on and send a contribution and get up off of it and do something. That's